Number three. My guy. God. Oh, he uh, if if the wild can get him in the second round, I'm going to be so happy. Yeah, and I so Aaron Kivihar, you left shot defenseman, uh five foot ten, one sixty-five. Um, he for the last couple of years has been like a top, top guy to watch for 2024. Um last year he had a bit of an up and down year this year got hurt like immediately after going to ifk um like he moved for, i think he actually yeah he was at tps before um but his ranking obviously has taken a huge dip or a dive just given the fact that he's barely played hockey this year and the hockey did play what was his highest rank like where was oh, like, he was easy uh top 10 oh shit so his up like the upside is undeniable. His problem is he's a defenseman that's five foot ten, and like people have him pegged as like a raw offensive guy, but like he actually can defend fairly well, especially just given his size. But he's probably um, in the book right here. Yeah, exactly. Two Holinkas ago, he was a double underager, and he might have been a top five player at that tournament that was getting absolutely dominated by USA and Canada. Like he is like the deception, the off the skill. The ability is just out of this world. He just legitimately has barely played any hockey this year. So that's always going to make you nervous. Um, but even last year when he was healthy, like there were like just some holes in his game that we hadn't seen for a while. A lot of that just had to do that. In fact, he was going back and forth between um, you know, like Liga and the U20 league as a double underager. So there you go. But um, yeah, it's just been a tough year for him. Just given with the health, but the, the upside's undeniable. Like, I wanted so bad to keep him in my first round, so I put his tier 33 to 40 just outside. But, like, just given the fact that we have not seen him play, and even when he was healthy this year for their what was it, seven games or whatever, there were some big concerns. Um, and, like, he was definitely struggling for a few of those games. So, just given the fact that we haven't seen any hockey from him, and like at first, the injury sounded like he would be back around like February. I'm, I, I'm like, hmm. I was trying to double check to make sure I wasn't going crazy that he just like has not or didn't like only played like one or two more games. But I don't know. No, but, I mean it, it's a good point though. Like, if a guy doesn't play, you should definitely avoid drafting him, just like Wyatt Johnson. Yeah, so there you go. Yeah, usually yeah, plays no, out. Well. Same thing. Same thing. Um, but I, I mean, Kivi Har, you fucking, he's so good. And again, the upside is just. It's outrageous. So I had to put him. He like honestly like it's him, and then there's a big gap between the rest of the fins like on this list. Yeah. Um. But yeah, no, it's the fact that it he's a defenseman. He's undersized, I guess, and uh, if he barely played this year because of injury, um, that's obviously going to hurt him. I'll be very curious to see like if there's still a team that because I mean I have plenty of buddies who still have him in their first round. So, um. He is that good. Like, so I'll be curious to see what team isn't afraid of taking a taking a stab. Please, um, we'll see. Please, I know you listen. Please, please consider him. Jedzy. <laughs>